Yep. Um, more things. Uh, slightly different results are happening with DV6. Um, where's the power supply? There it is. Um, first of all, I found a nifty feature with the giant battery that came with it. You don't have to charge the battery through the computer, you can just jab the uh, charger directly into the battery. Which is nice. Um, notice that the lack of RAM did disable these two lights. So with the RAM stored, it kind of boots further. But I did attempt um, some HP UEFI BIOS recovery on, on this USB. But when inserted into the computer, and when power is actually applied, the thing will turn on and do what it usually does with a flash that you can't see. But nothing shows up on the USB. Nothing at all. Not, not even not even a mouse. Nothing. No power. No 5 volts coming out of USB. So we're getting no USB activity. Let's unplug this before it overheats. Yeah. We're getting no power through USB at all. And the coil PL10, uh, the voltage on it was abnormally low. Like, extremely low. It's supposed to be 5 volts, I think. But PL10, nothing. Suspected BIOS chip failure, but the BIOS chip is, like, there. I mean, it would make sense if it died if it was located around this area. But, no. It's annoying. I really don't like this machine. But, subsequently, it is my fault, because I did leave it running on this surface, and, uh... The vents were clogged with dust, so uh, the next time I find e-waste computers, I always take a airbrush to all of them. Hot air rework station. I don't know if reflowing the BIOS chip will get it to work temporarily or not, or if, or is there a gadget I can remove the chip with using the hot air and read the BIOS chip, or can I, is there anything I can measure the voltage from with the pins and stuff? Because I do still have this awful unreliable um, multimeter, but yeah. we are getting places. We have the lights again, but that's just because I put RAM in it. But I think RAM does help with the boot up. If it has no RAM, it will complain. But if it has no RAM, it should be pulsing these LEDs three or four times. I, What I really want is two flashes. Two flashes. Because that'll signify corrupted BIOS or something along the lines of that. Although I still suspect the RX881, which is still a family of the RS880 Northbridge, the Turion 2 being dead, the two coils deriving the Turion 2 could be bad. I seriously doubt it's something to do with the ATI chip itself. Or maybe the South Bridge could be knocked. But, yeah, so I did take the BIOS battery out. I don't know if that's important. I can... I'll reinsert the CR2032 if it's going to help. But I don't really know what to do from this point onward. It's just... Screenless. I do just have the display. The display's under there. I have most of the bits that's even a little box you jam the screws into. But at the moment... Not really a lot is happening with this, so on to the next stage of diagnosis, I suppose.